Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a fun interactive worksheet in Google Slides. I have another video that shows you how to make a PDF worksheet into an editable slide using text boxes. So if that's what you're looking for, check out the other video. This, this video is going to take things one step further. So let's start by cleaning up our workspace. I'm going to get rid of these themes on the right side. And under view, I'm going to uncheck show speaker notes to get rid of that. Now I want to start with a blank slide. So I'm going to go to the slide on the left, right click by pressing two fingers on my trackpad, selecting apply layout, and then blank. Okay, great. So now I want it to look like a worksheet. So let's press file and go down to page setup and select custom and eight and a half by 11. Okay, so now it looks like a worksheet. There's some components that I wanna use from another file that I have. So I'm gonna go over to my drive and open that up and take a screenshot of this. So a screenshot on a Mac is Command Shift 4, a partial screenshot. On a PC, you would use the snipping tool and on a Chromebook, you would use uh, control shift in the window switch key. So let's see here, that looks pretty good. And if there's other components on the sheet that you wanna use, um, you can just take another screenshot. I'm gonna type out these points, so I'm not gonna screenshot that. So now I am going to insert an image because that screenshot is an image and my screenshots go to my desktop. So I'll select the most recent one you can see I do a lot of screenshots and just arrange it on the page how I like. That looks pretty good. You can size it down if you want. Drag it around. Okay, and I'm going to right click again, two fingers on the trackpad, center on page horizontally. That looks good. Now, let me zoom. Now that I've got that all arranged, I'm going to zoom in. to 100. Okay, so now I'm going to put in a text box. So I'm just going to select the text box from the banner at the top so I can put in the name and any directions that I want to give the students. So I've got their name and I don't like that font. So I am going to select a different font and then directions. Drag and drop the points to plot them on the coordinate plane. Okay, great. And let me just make this bold and the name as well. You can either select bold from the top menu or command or control B does the trick too. Okay, great. So now I want another text box at the bottom, but I want it with the same font and everything. So rather than creating a new text box, I'm going to duplicate this one. So either Command D or Control D, depending on what device you're on, and then just drag it down to where you want it. So I'm going to put it down here at the bottom of the worksheet. <clears throat> and once I get down here, I'm going to scroll down. Oh, I'm all the way at the bottom. I'm already scrolled down. Okay, so now I can take this out and put in what I want. Points without the L, points to plot. Great, I'm gonna keep it bold. I'm gonna add an underline. Either use the button at the top or Command U, Control U. And now that I've got the text highlighted, I'm going to go to Format, Align, and Center. And now I want to put my points in. So I'm going to use the points from that worksheet, but I want to type them out. So I'm going to use an extension that I have called Tab Resize. And I'm going to pick two by one. And now I'm going to go to my drive and open that worksheet back up so I can see everything at once. Make sure you don't open the slide presentation because they look very similar, but we're already in the slide presentation. Okay, great. Now I can see my points I want to plot and I go back up to my worksheet, 
go back to my text box. You can see when you go out of the text box that um, the blue outline goes away. So you don't actually see the text box unless you're in here editing the document. I'm just going to type in a few of these. I'm not going to type them all in. That would take too long. <clears throat> Great. Okay. So that gives us the idea. So I'm done with this bottom tab for now. So I'm going to go back to my one by one. Okay. And now I want to change some of the color in my, um, in my points. So let's see here. I'm going to do, going to make this one red. And I'm going to make this one orange. And the reason I'm doing this is then I'm going to have the um, points be the corresponding color so I can tell which one's which. Okay. So, and I'm just going in a row. So that looks great. But the only problem is for one thing, I'm going to bold these as well to make it a little stronger, but you still can't see the yellow. So one option you have is in this in the shape that you put in um i mean in the, you can either change the background of the whole worksheet or you can insert a shape so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to insert a shape and i like this rectangle with the rounded corners for this i'm going to start on the top left wherever i want it and insert it yeah that looks good Okay, great. So um, now it's covering my text box. So let's right click, select order, send to back so that my text comes on top. And so now you can see it a little better. If you wanna change the, um, the fill color on the shape, you just select the shape itself. And let's see, let's go to our fill color here. Maybe make it a darker gray. That looks good. Okay, and the fill color is just this bucket on the top. Okay, great. So that makes my colors pop a little more. Um, I want to make sure that this box is centered. So this shape is centered. So let me right click. And now notice it went to highlighting my text box. I want to highlight my shape. So let's right click, center on page horizontally. Okay, great. So this is the part that the students are going to see, that they're not going to be able to change. And you can put all your points down here. Um, and if you had, let's see, let's go back to our text box. Okay. Um, if you had more text, you could, um, you know, you just fill this box up. But I want to leave some space because I want to put the points in here. So what I'm going to do now is title my slide points to plot and I'm going to download it as a PNG. A JPEG works as well. So let's go to file, new presentation. And we have to do our we have to do our setup all over again. So let's get rid of the themes. Notice the speaker notes are already gone. Um, I'm going to right click on my slide, apply layout blank. I'm going to go to my page setup and custom. And then I'm going to do eight and a half by 11 again. So it's the same size and shape as the other slide. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select background at the top, choose image, and I'm going to upload. And I'm going to go to downloads because that's where my PNG would have downloaded to. And done. So now this worksheet is, you can't move it, right? So the kids can't do anything. They can't change anything on here because it's an image, which is great. I want to see a little better. So I'm going to go to zoom and 100. Okay. So now I want to put in my points to plot. So I'm going to go to insert shape and I'm going to pick a circle. 
I'm going to put my circle here. Okay, and I want to do a couple things. One is I'm going to make it red to match that first point. And the other is I'm going to select border color, transparent to get rid of that border. And now I need to resize it. That's a little big for a point to plot. Okay, a little oval. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm just going to drag it right here. And I don't want to re I don't want to reinvent the wheel here now that I have my point the way I like it. So um, I'm going to duplicate it. So let me highlight that and press Command D, Command D, Command D. So now I have four points. So I can just drag them next to the corresponding point. And once I have it selected, I can press my bucket and just go to the next color. So it's easy as that. If you use some like all different colors from all over, a great tool is once you have this highlighted, I have an extension called Colorzilla. Pick color from page and then I go down and you can see in the banner on the top, it's showing me um, which which color my eyedropper is on and that's it. I don't want like a grayish version, I want that color. So I'm gonna select it and it copied my color to the clipboard. So now when I go to the bucket, I select custom and I erase the text code at the top and command or control V to copy. And now it copied the exact color of my text. So now I can just rearrange these however I like and this is what the students will get. They get the coordinate plane and they can put, um, oh, one thing we need to do is insert a text box for their name. So let's, oh, I kind of did that too quick. So I just press Command Z or Control Z to get rid of it. So let me do that again with the text box. Put in a text box up here so they can enter their name. And um, it's kind of hard to see that the text box is there. So one thing that you can do is insert a shape. You can do an underline on the original worksheet or you can insert a shape um, to outline it or you can just assume that they will click there since it says name. And now they can, you can see that this does not change the numbers, the, all the words, but I can drag and drop this point to four, negative two. So the key is when you assign this, you need to have all of your students um, have their own copy of it. So once you're all done, points to plot, interactive worksheet. Okay, once you're all done, you're gonna go to classroom. So let me go over to my classroom. Just gotta flip over real quick. Okay, so once you're in classroom, you go over to classwork and create assignment. So title it whatever you like, select what topic you want to file under on your classroom. Um, actually, I'm not going to create a topic. I'm just going to go with unit one, give whatever instructions you like, and then click add. Google Drive should show right up in reasons because we just made it. And now I'm going to select make a copy for each student. Now, before you click assign, make sure that your slides are exactly how you want them. Because think of this as a photocopy. Once you make this photocopy, you can't make changes to the, once you uh, make the photocopies, you can't make a change to the original and expect it to show up on the photocopies. So once I click assign, they're each going to get their own copy. They can interact with, they can plot the points and return it back to me. You can use this for all different kinds of worksheets, sorting activities work well. So have fun. Enjoy making your worksheets.